My Footprints, written by Bao Fai, illustrated by Bazia Tran. And look at our copy is signed by the author. And the author says, for the students at Barack and Michelle Obama Elementary and your footprints. Twee sees those kids laughing at her again. She stomps away from school. The crisp white blanket of new snow cracks like eggshells beneath her feet. She looks behind her and sees her jagged footprints. Footprints, she says. My footprints. Twee stops. She looks up at the branches that reach like gloved fingers into the sky and sees a red cardinal. Where are your friends, Twee asks. Don't you fly south with the rest of the birds? The cardinal doesn't answer. Maybe he doesn't feel like talking right now, Twee thinks. The little bird could fly away to the giant pane of sky if it felt in danger. Twee points her feet in a V-shape and hops once lightly, leaving shallow prints. She stops and draws a line through the middle of each V to make a third claw. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Twee squeaks and flaps her arms. Almost home. The houses grow closer together. She can't read the bubbly words of graffiti on the train cards, but she thinks they're beautiful. She remembers how she saw a deer here once, how out of place it looked, but she knew its family must have been close. My footprints, Twee whispers. She tiptoes in small loops, dipping the tips of her boots deep into the snow like dainty hooves, wanting to feel peaceful, quiet, left alone. Mama Yin Yao and Mama Arti smile at Twee when she gets home. Twee knows they are both tired from work. But their smiles feel like a heater that warms Twee's snow-wet toes. How was school, sweetie? Mama Yin Yao asks. Twee doesn't want to answer that question. Instead, she asks, do snakes have butts? <laughs> what? Mama Artie laughs. Twee laughs at first, too. Then she frowns. She feels like a sudden snowstorm. Are you okay? Mama Yin Yao asks. I don't want to talk about it, Twee shouts as she shuffles away, leaving tracks like a snake slithering through the snow. She hear her, hears her mama's talking. Mama Artie's voice sounds frayed but warm, like Twee's favorite blanket. Twee runs a stick along a fence that's missing two teeth, like she is. She makes more footprints, this time running faster so they're farther apart. Quick, quick, quick. My footprints, Twee pants. She is a spotted leopard that can blend into its surroundings and disappear if it's threatened. Meow, Twee screeches, though that doesn't seem quite right. <laughs> My footprints, Twee says, stomping deep in the snow. She looks behind her and sees a grizzly bear's paw print. Strong and brave, a bear stands up for itself. Other animals are afraid to make fun of it. Roar, Twee growls, baring her teeth. Mama Artie and Mama Yin Yao come out into the tiny snowy backyard polka dotted by Twee's footprints. What is the strongest animal, Twee asked. Mama Artie thinks and then says, there are lots of different ways to be strong. An eagle is strong at flying in the sky. A dolphin is strong at swimming in the sea. And what do you think, Mama Yin Yao asked Twee? Maybe a dragon, Twee says. She imagines one, imagines one with googly eyes and a long body and whiskers fluttering like flag among the clouds. 
but you can't imagine its footprint. 